Uh, congratulations to Iowa. They came out, dominated the second, dominated the second half, and, and they earned a win. Question. We you talk a little bit about the margin of error for your team with the turnovers. Ah, we, well, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's not very big if that's what you're asking. You know, we've got to play sound and we've got to play perfect uh, or near perfect, close to perfect as you possibly can. Um, the thing about that first half, we, uh, we had the two turnovers, but we also created the two. So uh, that was kind of a wash and, and kind of kept us, you know, um, in a game that, that really, to me, it kind of felt like we had control of, you know. Yeah. And I think I think that's your point. Yeah, did did we did that cost us in the first half? Absolutely. I think everybody knows that. I, I, the only thing I'd argue with is when you guys turned the ball over, they turned it into touchdowns. Touchdown. Yeah. When you guys turned the ball over, there was a ball lost on downs. Right. I think, I mean, that right. Converting on opportunities. Yes. Yeah. No doubt. I I would agree with you. We talk. How would you do? Um, how would you examine your quarterback play? How did Morgan? Um, missed some throws. Uh, looked like, and I have to go back and watch the video, but it uh, looked like we had some guys open at times. Uh, and they didn't help him either. We had guys dropping balls and, 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 and not competing and making plays. Um, losing uh, T.O. Was, a, was, a, uh, you know, was, was, was big because he had proven that he's kind of our playmaker go-to guy. And at that point, we were searching for someone to step up and make a play and uh, um, weren't able to find that. And a lot of balls, I mean, there seemed to be the deep pass was a go-to. Right. We, we really ran the ball well in the first half. I think we had 195, 200 yards rushing in the first half, and um, they weren't going to let us do that anymore. So we were getting our one-on-ones, and, you know, the frustrating thing about it is is we were winning. Uh, you know, we got, we got to complete those balls. Uh, Defensively, can you talk a little bit about their move to the, the read option with the quarterback? Right. More, the read, more so than the read option was a move to stay with the two tights. I think they realized they had a size advantage, and they, and they kind of wore us down the second half a little bit. Um, first half, I thought we played great. Uh, I thought they were searching. And then, and then once, once uh, uh, we came back in the second half, they went to a, more of a two tight end look, which you're going to get option, and you're going to get zone read out of it. Uh, and really, um, they were pushing us around up and a little bit inside. And I, I wouldn't argue that they were looking for stuff in the first half. Can you talk a little bit about the emotion of a half where you know, they're looking for stuff? But it's it's frustrating. It, it, it's frustrating because, you know, you're moving the ball, you're selling for field goals, uh, uh, you're getting turnovers, and, and really prior to the pick six, you, you feel like that, that you're definitely in control of the ball game. Then you come back and you respond. So, uh, you know, we, we really, in that first half versus a team like that, you've got to take advantage of those opportunities because they're going to make a run. I mean, they're, they're, they're a quality football team. They're well coached, uh, well prepared. They're going to come back and make a run. And then, you know, if you're up 7-10 uh, coming in at halftime, this, thing, this, this thing's a game in the fourth quarter. So uh, um, really thought that uh, we did not take advantage of, the, of our opportunities uh, like we should have in the, in the first half. But on the second, you know, with that, I was proud of our defense's ability to respond. When we got the turnovers, they went and created ones of their own. It seems like the opponents have had a similar success with kind of the read option, at least that style of play. Uh, what's been the biggest issue there this year in adjusting to that and just being able to score that? Well, the biggest issue is, is we're not tackling a quarterback. You know, we, we've got to do a better job of fitting it, and, and, uh, and our, our eyes got to be in the right place in the, in, in the back end and with the safeties and things of that nature. Um, you know, on one of the on one of the first touchdowns, they, they play it perfect. It's it's zone option. Brandon Harris strings it out, strings it out, strings it out, strings it out. You know, and at the last minute, he jumps the quarterback when he has pitch. So it's just, it's just being fundamentally sound and continuing to do the little things that they're that they're coached to do. And uh, what do you feel like you need to do to kind of bounce back that next weekend? Same thing we've been doing. We're, we're going to get back up and, you know, win or lose, you know, you, you, you take this evening and, and you know, it, it's going to sting a little bit. Um, then we'll get up tomorrow morning and we'll go right back to work. I mean, the, another thing about that is, uh, yeah, how much confidence now do you have in the offense of being able to, like, uh, get the uh, 30 points? Yeah, 30 points, that's, that, that's great and all, but we, we've got to find – we had our chances in the second half. Uh, uh, and in, in a game like that, and, and they you know our defense is kind of worn down a little bit, and uh, we've got to make plays. Guys, we got to hit the big throw. we got to hit the wide open ball. We ran 90 snaps a day. 
You know what I mean? 47 rushes, 43 passes. I can't, those, I can't ask those guys to call any better game than that. I can't. Um, and we got to make plays. And that's, that's a lot. And is there a point when, I guess it's third quarter and he still hasn't hit one of those deep balls? Do you shot away from the Think about shot? Well, you can't because then then you're going to put yourself in a bind because you got to do what the defense is allowing you to do. And when you saw how they started stoning a run a little bit in the second half, there was a reason because all oh, number two, the safety, they had rolled him down in the box and they said, okay, <laughs> you know, you can't complete one of these. And we didn't. So that is that. And that's that. That's football. Um, one-on-one, it doesn't get any simpler than that. I, again, I thought the, the guys called a great game. Um, we got to make plays. We'll continue to practice. We'll continue to prepare. Um, if we felt like uh, Grant Loy came in and was able to come in and give us a better chance to win the ball game, he would have played. Uh, Grant Grant's got a, a ton of ability. We believe in the kid, but he's got he's got a little bit to learn.